All right, Shalom, Brother Ra coming to you with another video. Before I move forward, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching us the 100% truth according to the Bible and who rule well. All right, and a double Shalom to all the Akim out there pushing the truth and truth in sincerity, regardless of whom here or forbears. All right, now the title of this video is called We Are Not Africans. We are not Africans. You know, contrary to popular belief, our people have been lied to, man. All right, by Esau, the so-called white man, telling us that we're Africans. Okay, when indeed we're not, man. Okay, we are not African. Our people are scattered in Africa. Our people are scattered across the four corners of the earth. And you got many of our people who look like these heathens. But they, but we're not heathens, man. We we are the children of Israel. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, which include the scat the scattered Israelites. Okay, now I'm gonna start off reading Romans eight verse sixteen. All of this, it, how do we know all this by faith, man? Okay, we know all this by faith, and the scriptures tell us, give us clues of who we are. So Romans chapter eight verse sixteen, it reads. The spirit itself bears witness, Salakia, Romans 8 and 16. The spirit itself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. You know, and you look at the spirit of these heathens, these Hamites, you know, because that's who these uh, so-called Africans truly are. Their spirit does not jive with our spirit, man, of, of who we really are, man. They're, they have a dead spirit, man. You know, they have customs and and different um ways about them that does not correlate to what an israelite person or an israelite um, man woman or child uh possess man okay we're the greatest people on the face of the earth man and i'm gonna prove that in the scriptures um deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6 the book of deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6 it says for thou art in holy people Holy meaning separate unto the Lord thy power. The Lord thy power have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. See, the Lord chose the nation of Israel, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans to be a special people unto himself, man. All right. Now, let's look into the word special. All right. Because that word is going to really give uh, more edification on exactly the point, man. The definition of special, it reads better. Okay, we could just stop right there. Definition of special reads better, greater, or otherwise different from what is usual. Okay, now you see these Hamites, they're, they're not greater or better than uh, other nations, man. Okay, these Hamites are, are, are docile, uh, dead in the spirit. Okay, they're just heathens, man. They're just taking up space, man. Okay, but the Israelites are the greatest people on the face of the earth, and you can tell. Michael Jordan, Mike, um, Michael Jackson, you know, LeBron James. Okay, um, you think about the the um, scholars who are are Israelites, man. You know, you think about um, you know the entertainers. You think about the people who the the, the how, who made America great, man. Israelites. Okay, why? Because we are the greatest people on the face of the earth. Anywhere. Israelites are located in captivity is going to build up that kingdom, man. And that's how America became great. So going back to Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6, For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy power. The Lord thy power have chosen thee to be a special people, a people better and greater than everyone else. Unto himself, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. And that's why you don't hear about renowned great people that are our Hamites, man. You know, you don't hear about a Michael Jordan coming out of um, um, the, 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 the Sudanese tribe. You don't hear about, you know, uh, um, an Ethiopian that can sing or entertain the, the greatest or who's the smartest scholar. All right. Because why? They're not Israelites, man. OK. And we're not Hamites. So I'm going to bring out. Another precept, and I'm going to bring out uh, the definition according to, you know, um, 
the Bible dictionary, you know, of what a Hamite truly is, man. Exodus chapter 11, verse 7, it says, But against any of the children of Israel, who's the children of Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, shall not a dog, all right, dog referring to these heathen nations, move his tongue against man or beast, that ye may know how the Lord doeth put a difference between the Egyptians, all right, Egyptians going back to the Hamites, all right, and Israel. Israel is a people before it's a place, and it's you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. The Lord put a major difference between the two. Why is that necessary to be put in the Bible? Because it's true, and it proves that although we have the same skin color, okay, does not mean that we're the same people. And our spirit bears witness that we are different than these other nations, okay? So um, the definition of Hamite, when you go into the Bible dictionary, it reads, uh, Salaki Ham, okay? Ham is one of the three sons of Noah, okay? Because Noah had uh, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. We come from the um, seed of Shem, okay? But it says Ham, the youngest son of Noah, born probably 96 years before the flood and one of eight persons to live through the flood he became the progenitor of the dark races okay not the negroes again not the negroes one more time not the negroes but the egyptians ethiopians libyans and Canaanites okay so that just proves exactly who the Hamites are and which the Lord put a difference between Israel and the Egyptians we do not walk around with lip plates man we don't drink blood it's never been in our uh, spirit to do those things we don't plaster ourselves with mud and clay we don't um, bull jump man naked that's not that's never been a part of our custom okay you know, we don't walk around naked. We don't do those things, man. Our women don't get circumcised, okay? And it's all in the uh, in the law. You know, the boy, the man, the boy is supposed to be circumcised. You know, not the not the woman, not the not the child, not the uh, girl, Salakia. So okay. So anyway, going back to the scriptures, I want to bring out some other things because our people are are caught up in this whole, um, you know. Uh, Africanism bullshit, man. Excuse my language. You know, Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 1. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. And that's you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. Who are the house of Israel? The children of Israel. Uh, children of Israel. Verse 2. Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen. Okay? And what are some of the ways of the heathen? And you think about these Hamites. They're the ones who were the first ones that were using the razor to um, line their heads, you know, to get, get themselves edge ups, man. All right. And what do our people do, man? The uh, majority of the, the men in our, our our nation, they get lineups, man. They put the razor blade to their hairline. And that's a heathenistic custom that came from the Hamites. All right. Scriptures say, learn not the way of the heathen, you know, getting tattoos, you know, eating your food um, uh, bloody, you know, which rare, you know, that's a heathenistic custom. We just, you know, you look at the um, picture, man. You got these Hamites drinking blood, man. That's a heathenistic custom, man. It says, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. And the heathen, they worship the signs of heaven, the stars, the moon, the sun. Okay, we can learn about those things, but we don't worship it, man. We're not dismayed at them, man. We're not supposed to be like these heathens, okay? These heathens are, are nothing, matter of fact, less than nothing, man, as the scriptures say. I'm going to prove that in the Bible. If if these Hamites are so great, why they can't reproduce like the brother Hawaii was saying through the Spirit? Why haven't they reproduced another Jordan? Why haven't they um, brought forth, um, you, know, uh, uh, you know, Oprah or, you know, any one of the, the greats in our, in, in our, our nation, man? You know, why aren't they inventing anything? Why aren't they in the forefront and being talked about as a renowned people, a, a, a people of astonishment, special people? Okay? Because they're not our people, man. 
So Isaiah chapter 40, verse 15, behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket. Okay. And these nations that the scripture is referring to are the heathens. All right. The so-called the so-called white people, the Edomites. Okay. The um, so-called Africans, which are the Hamites. We just prove who they are. Okay. Um, the East Indians. The so-called Japanese, Chinese, the Arabs, all these are heathen nations, man. It says, are as a drop of a bucket, okay? Carrying two buckets and there's water that drop out of it while you're carrying the buckets. You're not going to care about that, man, okay? Because it's just a, a drop of, of a bucket. It ain't that serious, okay? That's how the Lord feel about these other nations. It says, and are counted as a small dust of the balance. And then when there's a small dust on the balance, it doesn't weigh anything, and like the brother was saying, it's weightless, man. Okay, behold, he taketh up the owls as a very little thing. Verse 17, all nations before him are as nothing. You heathen nations, man. And they are counted to him less than nothing and vanity. So the Lord went further to say, the scriptures went further to say, which Je uh, Isaiah is speaking through the power and spirit of Yahweh by Shemiah was shy, to say that these heathen nations are nothing. Matter of fact, less than nothing, man. Okay. And you got some people to say, yeah, we, we all come from Adam. And that is true. We all come from Adam, right? Okay, but let's get that. Let's, let's prove that point, but we're going to go further. We're going to dissect it according to the scriptures. Isaiah chapter 6, verse 54. Uh, and after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, it's like a cr creatures, of him come we all. So we do all come from Adam, right? It says, but, um, matter of fact, of him come we all, and the people also whom thou have chosen. So out of Adam comes a righteous seed line, a royal seed line, okay? And it's the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, who are the chosen. Verse 55, all this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes. Verse 56, as for the other people. The, these nations, okay, as you see, for example, the woman who is uh, sucking blood out of a cow's, I don't know what she's doing, to be honest with you, okay, that's never been our custom, we, we don't have that in our spirit, man, these other nations, these weird, um, unrighteous, wicked-ass other nations, excuse my language, which also come of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing, okay, we just read that in Isaiah, but be like unto spittle, meaning spit, and has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. Okay? So these other nations are nothing, man. Why would our people um, want to dumb themselves down and try to demote themselves to be heathens? Well, there's an answer for that too. Because our people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. And that's what it boils down to. They truly believe they're Hamites. Okay? When we're not, man, you know, majority of people believe that, man, which the scriptures say we're not. And we're going to prove that as soon as I get the scripture here. Hosea chapter four, verse six. My people, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. All right. And the scattered, including the scattered Israelites who look like heathen nations, but spirit bears witness with who we are. OK, are destroyed for lack of knowledge. OK, how are they destroyed? The same ones who call themselves Africans, man. African American, which Africa comes from Scipio Africanus, a Roman general, an Edomite. Okay, and America comes from Americo Vespucci, which is also an Edomite, man. So that goes further to show that our people are destroyed, man, for lack of knowledge. They don't know who they are, man. Calling themselves, calling themselves black when black is a color, meaning void of light. Black represents negativity, man, darkness. Okay, it reads on. I, uh, because thou has rejected knowledge, so our people reject knowledge, so our people going to die thinking that they Africans, man. You know, even though this word is going out across the four corners of the earth, they reject it. They reject the Lord ultimately, okay? And so they're going to die. The majority of them are going to die um, on this side, man. The Lord's going to put them to death for rejecting the knowledge. I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me. So you can't preach his word if you don't know it. You can't preach it to your fellow neighbor, which is an Israelite. 
seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, I will also forget thy children. You see, the Lord is going to reject and forget you and your children, you, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans that don't want to hearken to this word, man. Okay? So just to prove that we are not African, man, we don't come from Ham, man. We come from Shem. Okay, we're a royal seed line. The greatest people on the face of the earth, man. The Lord chose us to be a special people unto himself, man. And that's why it's evident that even though we're at the bottom, we still prevail, man, because the Lord has his spirit on us, man, to be the greatest people. So with that being said, before I close out, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakodash. Double honor to the apostles and elders, the great millstone for teaching us the 100% truth. According to the Bible and who rule well, okay, and a double shalom to all the Akim out there pushing the truth and truth and sincerity. Shalom.